Now we're ready to start adding tasks to our schedule. We'll begin using that task list on page 46 in your manual. You'll notice in the manual you have three columns for your activity information. The first column on your left is your WPS, the middle column is the task description, and then the right column is the duration. We'll begin adding the activities from this list. From the activities tab, I'm going to select the heading where I want to insert an activity. I can do that by pressing the insert button on the right. You'll notice an activity wizard pops up. I don't use this wizard. I'm going to select, do not show this wizard again, click OK, finish. And then I'll type in the name of the activity. Just notice to proceed. I've got a zero duration. Now to add the next activity, I can either hit the plus sign or I can select insert and type substantial completion. The activity IDs are being numbered by a default that I set on my projects tab. When I have this project selected under the defaults tab, you'll have an option in there to set the auto numbering for your activity IDs. Now I'm going to add a design phase. I have one activity in my list for my design phase. I'm going to add an activity in my procurement for submittals. Let me show you how you can move activities if you like. If you put an activity under the wrong heading, I move my mouse over to the left and you'll see I get a little box next to my mouse. I can click and drag an activity into a different heading and it will automatically change the WBS. My next activities are in construction under general conditions. I have an activity for mobilization. I can hit insert and add a new activity, trailer setup, and an activity for final claim. Let me give you a tip as you're entering your activities. Sometimes you'll enter activities and you'll notice that they're jumping out of order. This can be affected by what column your table is set to sort by. For example, if I have the activity name selected or the start date selected, it will sort by that column. If you want to keep them in the order as you're entering them, select the activity ID since your ID is being automatically generated to develop numerically. Now that your activities are entered, Let's look at some features for the activities that you've entered. Make the notice to proceed a start milestone. These are milestone activities, so we want to set substantial completion as a finish milestone. The rest of these activities will be task dependent. If you're just building a schedule for construction, down in the details area, you'll want to keep fixed duration in units. This is the most common used duration type. I would be careful changing some of these settings for your activities. You'll notice down in these areas, here are the defaults that we have set up actually under the project tab. And as these activities are generated, these defaults are set. You can customize these tabs by right clicking in this detail area, selecting customize activity detail, here are a list of the tabs that my detail area is displaying and I can remove those tabs by selecting a tab and moving it over to the left. There are several of these that I don't use so I'm going to move some of them over and clean up my tabs. So I'm only getting the ones that I use the most. All of these tabs are detailed in your manual on page 47 to 54. In our next video, we'll start building the relationships for these activities.